which is, um, it's going to come with a measurement here that says your height, that has um, your height on it. So I'm 5'8", around 5'8", probably 5'7 and a half. Um, so it's an approximate height. Um, setting up your crutches is you want this piece under your arm to be two inches away from your armpit. And then this, you want to be able to, from here to here, place your hand like this. And that's where it needs to be. So, on me, I have it like this. And you see it's about two inches from my armpit here. And then when I settle it like this, I'm able to go like this. To this piece here. So what that is, is it's giving you room for your arm to have bend at the elbow because you're gonna need to be holding yourself up, but you're also gonna need to have room. And that's where your crutch needs to be. So that's just setting up your crutches. Um, <clears throat> other than that, that's really it. There's obviously two moving pieces. It's not that complicated. Usually when you break your leg, your doctor will do this or a nurse will set this up for you. Uh, mine was set up for me in the ER. So I haven't had to mess with it or change it or do anything. Um, the only time I need to change the height is when I'm in a small car and we have to make it as small as possible to fit in the trunk or in the back seat. So that is the first thing about crutch placement. So the next thing that I would recommend for your crutches is crutch pads. So this is, while it feels soft at first, it's incredibly hard on you. Um, this is so small and it's not very uncomfortable plastic. So you can use just regular wash rags and tape. I see that a lot for a cheaper option. Um, I got these on Amazon for $15. Um, I think there were cheaper ones. I just picked the ones that I liked for the color. So, um, you know, you just slide them on the top. Mine have little Velcro on the bottom. Uh, slide it over. And then you have all this extra cushion. I haven't washed mine. I think I got them one or two weeks after I broke my leg, so it's been a month. I haven't washed them. They don't stink or anything. But I probably should wash them eventually. And then it also comes with this little piece for the hand and you just wrap that around and velcro it. So these will fit on any crutches, they're just universal. All crutches are pretty much the same. But I just like the way it feels. It adds like a lot of extra cushion for you for under your arms because you will have bruises, um, probably skin tears just from all the pressure where it's not, your skin is not used to having pressure right here. So. That is the second thing I would recommend for your crutches. So this is a video of me walking up and down the hallway. Um, I don't know if you really wanted to see this, but this is just a quick little tidbit. Now know that this is week six of being on crutches and it didn't look like this when I first got them. I couldn't hold myself up by my shoulders and it was just really not graceful. This is some footage of me just stepping on crutches. Um, you'll wanna know when you first get your crutches that you can keep your foot very low to the ground. In fact, you can even slide it if it's on carpet. Um, you're gonna wanna take as small steps as possible, small movements, don't go overboard on your first time. And here, I'm gonna take a large step. So this is what I can do now. It's much faster, obviously, than the shorter steps. Um, but don't try anything like this when you first get on your crutches, that would be quite dangerous. So this next clip is of me using the stairs. Um, the first thing you're going to do is line yourself up with the railing, take your crutch that you're not going to use and put it in your other hand. So if you have a friend, they can hold it for you. Here I slowed the video down a little bit. Um, you're going to put your crutch up on the stairs, grab the handrail real tight, and then hop up. You want to make sure your hops are really small, like really tiny movements, and go really slow so that you don't trip or fall because I have and it is not fun. And now it's back to regular speed. It's not fast by any means, but if you live in a dorm like I do and you have to use the stairs, this is the way to do it.
So going down the stairs is going to be a little bit different. Uh, you're still going to want to transfer your crutch to the other side so you have a free hand. Make sure you have a good grip on the handrail. And then instead of putting your crutch in the same spot and then jumping, you're going to want to set your crutch down and then hop down with your good foot. I kind of slide down the stair rather than a full hop. It's much safer. I have more contact with the ground. And that is just a little bit safer. Now, it's really important to remember that I was not able to do stairs for about three weeks after I broke my leg. So don't try it on your first day because you will fall and you will get hurt.